Out here, this is my shirt right there. So I came out to lose my hair. We just came. <laughs> we said we came out to lose it, but I think we actually came out to just take some fresh air because we got apple there and in that bag we got like water. We also got juice and whatever the fuck. Oh, we are currently in the estate, though. This is like a playground or something. I actually came to do a pedicure. I think I haven't done it in a long time. I don't know what I'm saying. 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 I don't know yeah, I never even seen your face. Ah, uh, it's fine. Mm. I swear. Finest girl in town. Yeah, it's me. Eh? That's me. <laughs> Is it pull up with sugar? Update that. Where am I caught?
Guys, I'm about to start my class and it's raining seriously today. It's really raining. Yeah, money, nobody, welcome. Alright guys, so we just finished the class for today. So I'm going to use this opportunity to show you guys uh, the trades that we actually took. Let me just show you where I sent the signal in first and then also I'll show you why this is on the chart, uh, why this is on the screen right now and also the trade breakdown of the ones we took today. Alright, so this is it. This is my inner circle, you can see. This is my inner circle. This is uh, a lifetime mentorship program for my students and my people. You can see. So let me show you where I sent it in the first place. I sent that signal in. Let me show you. You can see. So I said, sell USDCHF, SL, apply proper risk management. You can see. That's where I said sell it. You can see where I said sell it. And then I also said at the same time, this was around. 8 7 a.m. Do I woke up 5 5 50 something to 6? But I sent this signal around 8 a.m. by GBP USD. You can see the setup SL and these the two trade uh, two trade setups were a target of one to two RR each. You see in good profits. Look at the setup and look at the after. You see, you see that's for USD CHF. And then in the end, I told them when price went really close to TP, close up positions on GBP USD now in profits. Also, close up positions on USDCHF in profits now, you see. So that's it. So let me take you guys to the charts. We also hosted the class. You guys saw the class. And uh, yeah, let me take you guys so you guys can see what's going on. So this is also a trade we analyzed in class today. I showed them some trade setups. I'm also looking at, even though we are not taking this, we already took two trades and we won on the both of them. So I also analyzed some in class CHF, JPY, and NZD uh, USD. So yeah, we did not take it because we already won on two trades. But let's just see how those ones play out. You already seen it. So let me take you to the GBP USD and USD CHF trades that we already took today. So what did I see and why do, did I decide to, to buy uh, GBP USD today with my inner circle members, my, with my students? Why did I decide to buy GBP USD with my students today? So the first thing is I focus on trade one concept. Now some people will be like, yo, why do you trade this time? Blah, 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 blah. That's because that's my strategy, okay? So I trade one setup, one style. Now, my entry models might be different because I have different entry models which I teach my students, but it's all based on one concept. And that concept is buy low and sell high. Buy low and sell high. If you notice a lot of my videos, I say this one thing and that's what I've been doing consistently for a long time. I might be using different entry models for them, but they are all based on one concept. So this 1 to 2 RR and the goal was to buy low, right? So when price came all the way low here, yeah, I woke up around this time. Here yeah, was around 5:50 something a.m. and then 6 o'clock a.m. was this candle, but I wasn't really seeing any move to to like let me know that a lot of buyers were in the market. I know the trend already started, you know. The trend already started. In some cases, or sometimes, I usually decide to enter from the very low here, yeah. and when I catch these kind of sniper entries, I can target like one to four. But today, since the, the market is um, starting to misbehave, we are closer to the elections and stuff like that. So I just wanted to see a good sign that this price action or this market is going to be moving in this new direction because it's already at a low price. So I just needed a sign that buyers have stepped in. And this is the sign I needed. I got it. You can see there's this impulsive move. And I loved the way this candle closed around this area. So this is where I decided to buy. I sent the signal in and my people bought, you see, they got in on the trade and we targeted a one to two RR. And um, in two hours, we already smashed TP, you see. Also, if you go to uh, USDCHF, 
which is also the SDCHF, which is also another uh, setup we took. So remember, we always buy low and what sell high. One concept every single time. So we saw that the price was very, very high, but I needed a move. I needed a confirmation or I needed some conferences. Now, these things I'm mentioning are not just the only things I see. It's, there is just a whole lot behind these setups, but I break all those things down in my inner circle for my students. If I want to start mentioning all of them here, yeah, this video will not end today. So now, we saw that price was high, so we needed a sign that sellers were what, stepping into the market. And this is a, where I woke up around this time, but I was still waiting to see that sellers were stepping into the market. And when I noticed that they've started stepping into the market, I just wanted those volume and some others stepping in so I can join them. I want to react to what is currently happening. I don't want to predict, okay? So now, around this area, seeing the volume in the market, I already saw that, okay, this thing has started a new trend and let me join them. So this is where we sold. We sold around this area here, put our stop loss around here. And just in two hours, also like the other setup, you can so see where I sent the signals in. This is real and this is live, guys. So we set, we in two hours, we already smashed TP. I told them to close around this area when price was very, very close to TP. And price still smashed TP, but we already out around here to avoid too many problems. So we just jumped out around this area here and price smashed our TP. One to two hour, hour. But just notice the knowledge and understand the idea behind the setup. That's what I'm showing you. The same things are what I analyzed on this other place too, but then we didn't take this one because we already ate on twice on two pairs, so no need to be greedy. And uh, also this uh, NZD USD, we don't know what would happen, but yeah, this is also my analysis. This could go up as a possibility, and also this CHF could sell. But yeah, that's it for today. You want to join my inner circle? The link is in the description of this video, guys. Let's get on with the video, fam.